Hello and welcome to another Oblivion Plays Flight Sim video. I uh, hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. It's been a little while since I've recorded a dedicated YouTube video. Uh, I apologise for that, but as I explained before, I'm, I'm very busy at the moment. So um, a few more weeks and then I'll be uh, back to my usual self. So I thought I'd uh, just take a break from revision and put together a video to help those who are looking to update uh, prepared version 3.0 to 3.1. Um, because for those of you who aren't familiar with the new way of uh, updating, um, it might be, look quite complicated. But in reality, it's actually fairly simple. Just a disclaimer, um, this has worked for me. It's, it's following Lockheed Martin's uh, recommended method for installing, um, the, the document which is in the, uh, in the description below. Um, but So it worked for me, um, but if you have any issues, feel free to ask in, my, in the comment section below. But, but I'm not part of the development team, so I may not actually be able to help. Um, so the prepared support forums might be a better shout. Uh, so in this video, I'll look at the release notes and see what uh, Lockheed Martin have been working on. And then I'll go through the installation. Uh, which I've alluded to is relatively straightforward. So if we go to the release page, that's Lockheed Martin released on the uh, the 20, 21st of December. Um, we can see that there's been quite a few updates, quite a long list. Not too bad, bear in mind, Prepare's only been out for a few months. Uh, if we look at um, the general kind of platform updates, obviously there's been a lot of fixes. A few sa added sound um, features, and then they fixed a whole list of bugs and things. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about them. If, you, if you're interested, you can look at the, look at the list now. Otherwise, um, the rendering and performance updates is probably the most interesting um, part of the updates. So they've added dynamic reflections. Um, so this is on kind of glass cockpits. Certain cockpits, um, particularly on add-on aircraft, now have dynamic reflections like on the glass. So if, for example, if you were in a, a fighter jet or something like that, um, you'd see the reflection of the ground off the, off the canopy above you. Um, and um, I think I've read somewhere as well that some of the... Um, runway textures and certain add-on airports also support these these reflections as well, which would be quite cool. Uh, the special effects um, can now be rendered on terrain and water, so that's obviously good for uh, add-on developers. Um, and uh, they've improved the the visual quality of water, um, particularly up uh, at high altitude. And the boats now move with um, the water surface elevation to start to add a little bit more realism. And again, they've added quite a few uh, fixes and um, fix some bugs and stuff like that. Sim Director updates again it's mostly bug fixes and a few added features but nothing particularly of interest um, and the same really is with the SDK and Sim Connect updates. Um, so in terms of the the, the other two sections that are, are of interest uh, the, in terms of content um, there's been a fix for the Beach Baron and there's been some updates for the, uh, the F-35. Scenery wise they've added a few updates for uh, some United States uh, airports and if you fly around uh, Singapore, they've also updated um, the coastlines, lakes, rivers, and elevation model. And now let's have a look at the, how to install uh, 3.1. So if you go to the downloads page in your prepared account on um, the prepared website, you'll notice that you can download either the full download, um, which includes all the packages, um, or you can individually download each package uh, manually. Now, um, in order to get the most benefit for, for prepared version 3.1, you only really need to install the client. Which is 123 megabytes. Uh, however, if you were, if those additional um, content and scenery updates will affect you, um, then uh, then you you may as well um, inst download the full package, the the 9.8 package, 9.8 gigabytes package, um, because basically the bulk of 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 that 9.8 gigabytes is the scenery and content um, files. So if you download the full package, um, and then uh, all you have to do is uninstall the the three clients that I'll go through in a second uh, and then you can uh, reinstall them essentially without having to uninstall the whole entire prepared um, package. So in order to go, do that you go into your Windows settings and go into system and then your apps and features. Now obviously if you're using a different version of Windows um, you go to the corresponding section to find your programs. Um, then find your prepared section and then uninstall these three clients. So don't un uninstall that one, just the academic content and scenery clients. If you're, in, if you're interested in installing the SDK kit, obviously there's a separate installer for that as well, which you can update uh, accordingly. Once you've uninstalled the three uh, clients, you then it's probably recommended to restart your computer at this point. 
Okay, so once you've downloaded all your files, you just need to install each of the MSI files in turn. So we'll start with the client, and then you just follow the instructions. Make sure that uh, it's the installer is pointed to the correct um, files. So for example, mine isn't on the C drive, so I need to change that. And the same goes for the other two. Once you've finished with the installation, you can open up the application and then you'll have to reactivate the program. And obviously it's easier just to do it online. And then put your license ID and password in. Prepared, we'll just do some uh, database building, adding the new scenery files. And there we go, all done. And just to confirm that it's working correctly, if you go to the help and then the about Lockheed Martin, it'll tell you the version. And as you can see, we've got the right one. So that's pretty much it. You might notice that some of your add-ons aren't working just yet. Uh, some of them are, are awaiting a update. For example, Access Sky Next, I know at the time of recording, um, requires an update in order to work. Orbex didn't initially, but they've, they've released an update, so that's all fixed. SimConnect also didn't work properly after installing, so that might need reinstalling as well. Uh, you will also need to, if you've updated your scenery um, client, you'll need to go into prepared and um, go into the scenery add-ons and just basically reapply them. Um, you just basically need to open the uh, add-on scenery manager and then just click OK and then that'll re-add all your scenery. And also if you use the Orbex products, you'll need to open up the uh, FTX Central and reapply your regions, otherwise they won't show up correctly. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like and share button. And if you'd like to watch more, then please subscribe. Um, I'm also on Twitch, so you can follow me there. And I'm open to suggestions, questions, and tips, so do add anything in the comments section. Uh, if you'd like up-to-date information on my streams and videos, then please follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.